any doubts in this h2 go in the h2o2 no sir because both sir, are in h2o2 how, how we got 32 because two oxygens right and each oxygen sir, means we are multiplied 16 into 2 yeah okay sir okay if the number of oxygen atom increase we have to multiply with that number okay okay sir yes sir so this is all about the compound okay it is a substance in which two or more elements will combine chemically in the definite ratio by mass what would be the next classification that is a mixture right so in the case of mixture yes sir then what is the difference between the compound and the mixture sir compound is a pure substance while the mixture is an impure substance very good next anyone and so uh, one more difference is that a uh, compound is mixed chemically whereas a mixture is just mixed physically very good shreya next sir a compound is formed by using chemical elements and a mixture is formed by using physical physical methods compound is combined physically and the mixture is combined physically that only point you want to say no sir compound is a, is made is chemically and mixture is physically physically what and chemically what you are saying sir can i sir i am telling compound is um, like uh, combined by using two or more chemical elements and a mixture is made of two or more physical methods okay so this is a substance in which two or more elements combined in any ratio okay this is an option in which two or more elements combined in any ratio that is what is a mixture definition okay and combined only in the physical methods there is a substance in which two or more elements combined physically in any ratio suppose if you take air air is a compound or mixture air is a mixture air is a mixture of gases right yes sir. yes sir. so it is also contain two or more components it is a substance which two or more components you can say not elements you can say as components okay that's better two or more components compound which are combined physically in the present in the any ratio so the main difference between the mixture and the compound is here the mixture is combined in any ratio but the compound is combined in the definite ratio okay the compound is combined in the definite ratio but the mixture is combined in any ratio and the next main difference is the compound is combined chemically and the mixture the components are combined in the physically only that means in the case of mixture there is no new substance will be formed mostly whatever the components are there they will mix thoroughly and they will form a one different only but the properties of the components and the mixture will not be different but in the case of compound they are combined chemically right so entirely the new substance will be formed and whatever the properties are there for the formation of the compound that is entirely different than the original components okay so your homework for today is write down the tabular column the difference between the mixture and the compound what is your homework
so we have to write the vocabulary from the differences between compound and mixture compound and the mixture and everything should be there in the class work notes only whatever the homework i have given for you should be there in the class work notes so find out the difference between the compound and the mixture okay okay sir okay sir sir can you check the chat box i sent one difference which yeah. i wanted to say compounds are formed because of the chemically bonding between the two elements whereas mixture is formed when two substances are physically mixed with one another okay good and one more thing if you want to separate the mixture na we can do by physical separation we can use the physical separation techniques to separate the components of the mixture so what are the physical separation techniques anybody knows we have to be in the third and not this one sorry sir i know rag you know right hand picking sub yes sir i know hand picking sedimentation. sedimentation decantation evaporation distillation these are the physical sir, distillation does it uh, come under physical uh, physical separation method or chemical separation method sir distillation is in physical distillation is a physical only sir distillation evaporation filtration filtration very good all these are physical methods only so you can separate the components of the mixture by physical methods only physical separation techniques but we cannot separate the compound from the physical separation techniques only mixture can be separated with the help of sir sir and electrolysis is a chemical separation method yeah electrolysis is different we will pass the electricity to form the chemical reaction it is a yes, it is a chemical separation technique but the mixture only can be separated with the help of the physical separation techniques compound is only separated with the help of the chemical separation techniques not with the physical separation techniques okay okay sir so once you write the homework for the difference between the compound and the mixture na we will go through it and we'll i like also explain with the some more points okay that is all about the mixture but again mixture is two types right one is a homogeneous mixture and the another one is a heterogeneous mixture yes sir then what is a homogeneous mixture what is a homogeneous mixture beuta <laughs> sir it's a mixture in which its constituents they are like uniformly distributed throughout the throughout its volume very good so what is the meaning of home homo homo means same right the word homo yes, means yes. same okay suppose if you are mixing the two liquids or the two constants they will mix thoroughly within each other means there is a uniform composition throughout the mixture in the case of homogeneous mixture what is there uniform composition throughout the mixture suppose you are mixing the salt and water if you take in one glass here first you have taken the water and if you add salt to it and if you stir it properly what will happen the salt will be mixed thoroughly throughout the water right is yes or no so if you take if you sip the water which is present at the top of the glass or if you sip the water which is present at the bottom of the glass both are become salty water only right yes sir yes that means the salt is uniformly mixed throughout the water and this mixture is called as a salt mixture and the salt mixture is having the uniform composition throughout the mixture right the salt yes, mixture sir. has yes. the uniform composition throughout the mixture that is only the homogeneous mixture understand yes sir then what about the heterogeneous mixture 
It does not have uniform composition throughout the mixture. Heterogeneous mixture means what? It doesn't have the it uniform does. composition throughout the mixture. Yes, sir. Exact opposite to homogeneous mixture. Doesn't have uniform composition throughout the mixture. That is a heterogeneous mixture. Doesn't they have uniform composition throughout the mixture? That is called as a heterogeneous mixture. Examples. Tell me the examples. Sir, sand and water. Sand and water. Sand and water. Very good. If you mix the sand and water, they will mix. Not, they will not. They will not mix properly. Right. So there is no uniform composition throughout the mixture. Okay. And find out okay. the examples for the by examples for the homogeneous and the heterogeneous also. That's also work for you. Okay, sir. Five examples for homogeneous and heterogeneous. Homogeneous and the heterogeneous. Okay. So any doubts in today's class? No, no sir. sir.